That noise was the forward overdrive, overdrive strut. When I took the adjuster bolt out, you'll, you'll hear that thing fall into the oil pan. Again. It's already going. Oh. <laughs> Here comes the oil again. It's going to leak, it's going to leak. There's nothing you can do about it. So, what I'm going to do is going to carry on letting it leak. Only got a couple left in here. Okay, I think it's there's not really much more gonna happen at this stage. <clears throat> when I take the oil pan off, you'll see uh, one of the struts that hooks onto the overdrive band will be in here. There's one of them. That's what it looks like in mine. Um, yeah, when I first took the pan down on this one, uh, there wasn't a lot of iron filings on the magnet and I had a P0733 code, which refers to the overdrive. And um, I wasn't getting uh, any drive in third when it, when it changed up from second. Um, I tried putting the strut back on because the strut was on the oil pan when I, when I originally took the oil pan down and uh, it didn't make any difference. So uh, it's got other issues and I know that Yeah, this is my first time taking one of these uh, transmissions apart. Um, I'd like to say that I've overkilled it on the parts that I've ordered. I mean, there was no signs of the torque converter eating itself. So that, you know, the, like I said earlier, the, uh, there's not a lot of iron filings on the magnet. But I've ordered a new torque converter anyway, because I want to try, my aim is to do this once and then it'll be good for, for a long time. That's what, that's what I'm hoping for. Right, let's pull these screws out. Yep, that's the 25 millimeter long one. Uh, one of the reasons why I decided to take this on this job uh, was because uh, there's a lot of information on the internet on this. And um, there's some fantastic uh, YouTube videos. 
and um, yeah, it gave me a lot of confidence to uh, give it a go myself, you know. Now there's a, I think there's a little tab in there, I've got to be careful. I'm going to try it gently, pulling the pack out. Yep, that's it. Taking out the low reverse servo. The whole housing seems to be coming loose pretty, pretty easily. Yep, that's all one unit there. Oh, I wonder if that, yep, I think that unscrews. Well, I'm not gonna trouble that right now. That'll be a, a later on job to look at that. Yeah, I'm following the instructions actually now. Um, it's pretty straightforward, just removing the bolts of the valve body. Got various different lengths, but this this uh, this this um, manual I've got here is perfect because it tells you all the different lengths.
Yep, it's coming loose. That's a good sign. It's nice when you can just undo bolts and the part you're taking off just comes off, you know? You don't you don't necessarily want to start hammering stuff. Not like I do that anyway, but you know, you just don't want to damage anything. Now there is the separator plate. Now at a glance, they normally blow here. Oh, it started, it's starting to come apart, but it hasn't blown. So I would say that this is more of a servo issue. There's uh, like some a grey sediment, but I, I would say that was normal from the, uh, the clutch pack linings. You're interested, I'll enjoy looking at that later. Yep, I think it's time for a coffee break. Okay, um, I had a little bit of a trouble, but I knew it was gonna be a problem. You're meant to put a slide hammer deal on here. This is part of this oil pump. And um, one guy on the internet, he managed to get it off with a hit in it. I didn't really want to hit it, um, direct with a hammer or even with a rubber hammer. And I found this lying around. It's probably not the perfect tool, but it, it worked. I put it on there and um, I sprayed WD-40 in and around there and I got this bar on there like that. And I just worked it up and down and it did start to move. But however, I did have to get the hammer out and I put this on there and I just bashed on here so all the damage was going on here and not on the shaft and yes it did come out and here it is now this is the way the shaft, the shaft came out I took this out before I started trying to get the oil pump out and there's your pump the oil pump gasket. Won't be needing that anymore. Remove the overdrive coast clutch drum assembly as shown in Fig 37 and set aside for the component rebuild section.
That's one of his. It's one of my friction plates. Right, the next job is to take out the over, overdrive carrier and centre shaft assembly and um, it's, it's this deal here. I, as I was moving the transmission around I heard something rattle around in there and I thought oh what's that and first time I didn't really pay t didn't worry too much it might have been something to do with this selector um, little shaft loose and um, and now when I took out this uh, this coast clutch I found this um, and this is a tab of uh, probably the reverse and overdrive band it snapped clean off so in some ways it's good in a way because I found something wrong you know I know that the probably the servo bores are worn as well because it's a common thing on these um, but yeah it's good when you find something wrong so um, I'm going to try and pull this out. I hope it comes out. Okay. That's it. Right now. This overdrive carrier should have come off with the center, with this center shaft assembly. This should have come out with it. Here it is. set this back in I'll say that was back in we've got some thrust washers here and these determine the, the bearing preload and the distance between all the parts so we're going to leave that on there I've just lifted that on Everything else in there looks alright. Okay. And you see, it goes one way, but it locks up the other. So I'd, and in the bear, the bearing type is called a sprag. And uh, that's looking like it's pretty good there, so I'm happy with that. On the valve body there was a bolt that had to loosen. Now there's the lock nut. So now I can go ahead and remove the remove the lock nut there.
Okay, yeah, I couldn't get the... Um... Hold on a minute. The center support assembly, I couldn't get it out because um, this, this uh, servo uh, plunger rod is sticking through, so it needs to come out. And I've put some WD-40 on, on this snap ring here and um, hopefully I can get it out. They mean, they can't, they can't be that difficult, but we will see. Maybe I can get some needle nose in there. That'd be nice.
There we go. Now what I'm going to do, I don't want this this clip. I've got to reuse this 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 snap ring. I'm just going to. No, he was going to get his roller skates on. Alright, now this comes out of here. Can't get them mixed up because um, completely different sizes. This is uh, the servo piston. And this is what wears, as you've seen on other YouTube videos. There's plenty of info on it. It's inside there. And they go oval because, partly because uh, on here, it's very sharp and it seems to catch it. Anyway, these will be getting replaced. and I'm going to be getting brass sleeves put in there. Okay, so this thing's going to come out. Now this thing's located with that lo that lock nut goes in there and there's a bolt that goes in through the valve, the, the labyrinth of uh, oil galleries. So here we go, that one's come out. We've got these thrust washers there. They all look good. Quick look. I'll be giving this all a closer inspection. It's just disassemble at the moment. Let's have a strut in here. I think this is the damaged one. Get the needle nose in there to help. No, that's still on. They don't look too bad. Maybe a little bit of wear down there.
pulling out this clutch pack. This is the intermediate clutch pack. Oh, sorry, it's the direct clutch drum assembly. Okay. There's another set of clutch packs in there. And there's a thrust washer on there. Yeah? Alright. Gotcha.
Here we go, let's try it out. Is it gonna work? I'm going to be honest with you. The um, the other professional at transmission rebuilders that they say you can look in there with the light. I mean, I haven't got a light handy, but by the eye, I mean it. It, it um, they still look round, but you have to get they 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 just wear slightly oval. I can if I really stare at it, I can see that maybe it is a little bit oval. But anyway, you can't mess around with these things because you've got this far, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to do it right. There is a band-aid fix out there that apparently works well, um, where it uses these oversized O-rings. I'm sure it'll work for a while, but hopefully you'd get at least thirty or forty thousand miles out of it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, the brass insert job. I'm going to send it away and have that done. I'm going to carry on with the extension chip uh, housing here. I'm going to pull that off.
Hold on. Daddy, I have monkey business. Have you? Monkey business. <coughs> right. Pull in the extension. What is wrong? What is wrong, Daddy? What is wrong? What you are making, Daddy. Oh, that, that little spring has come off. All right. What is the springs? This is for the. Uh... Wait, wait. I see it. I see it. Where is the spring? There. Oh. What spring? Mind that? out. There's oil on the table. Oh. That's. Oh. Yeah, this this is what locks it when you put it in park. Even though you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but. People at home might. Anyway, that's that bit off. Daddy, if you go that on, you go that on. Hmm. Oh! Uh, and we get going up. Yeah, took this housing off. There's the uh, the uh, the spring-loaded deal that hooks in here. Now this is what which is what holds your automatic transmission in park. Anyway, so um, moving steadily on, this little rubber comes off, and then we're left with this. I'm not sure how this comes out. This, this thing should come out of here. There's a reverse servo that goes on here that locks the drum up. You see that? I think you've got to pull the shaft out. Like that. Like that.
That's it. Put that back on there so we know where it goes. This this drum, this this brake band should come off now. I don't know if you can see in there. So this should unhook. See if I can hook this thing out with my hands. Nope. It took me a while to suss this out, but um, I mean, it is in the instructions to remove the snap ring, so it's my fault, but I didn't realise it, I didn't see it. I thought, oh, it hasn't got a snack ring, but it has. It's a little thin one, like this. And maybe this, this assembly will come out now, I'm hoping. Here we go. It's coming out. I think there's a washer there. Ah, oh, there's a sir clip. Voila.
There it is. I don't know if you guys can see that.